radar systems. Have you ever wondered how we can see planes in the sky, even at night, or through thick clouds, or how your weather app knows a storm is coming? The answer is, radar. It's like giving ourselves a superpower, the ability to see things far beyond what our eyes can. But who came up with this incredible technology? Was it one genius in a lab having a eureka moment? Well, the story of radar is a bit more complex and way more interesting than that. Let's rewind to the late 1800s. A German physicist named Heinrich Hertz first proved the existence of electromagnetic waves. He showed they could be transmitted and received and that they would bounce off solid objects. He didn't see a practical use for it, but he laid the essential groundwork. Think of him as the guy who discovered the ingredients but didn't have the recipe yet. Then, in the early 1900s, another German inventor, Christian, took it a step further. He created a device called the telemobiloscope, which could detect ships in the fog using radio waves. He even got a patent for it. This was basically the world's first, very simple, radar system. But, like many inventions ahead of their time, it didn't really catch on. The real push for radar came in the years leading up to World War II. Countries all over the world were in a secret race to develop technology that could detect enemy aircraft and ships from a distance. In the UK, a team led by Robert Watson Watt developed a system called Chain Home. This was a massive network of radar stations along the coast that played a crucial role in the Battle of Britain, giving the Royal Air Force a vital early warning of incoming attacks. At the same time, scientists in the United States, Germany, the Soviet Union, and Japan were all working on their own versions of radar. So, who found it? It wasn't one person. Radar was a global effort, with brilliant minds from different countries, all contributing key pieces of the puzzle. From Hertz's initial discovery to Watson Watt's practical application, it was a chain of innovation. Today, radar is everywhere. It's not just for the military anymore. Air traffic control uses it to guide planes safely. Meteorologists use Doppler radar to track storms and predict the weather. Police use radar guns to check your speed. And some modern cars even use radar to detect obstacles and prevent collisions. It's an invisible technology that has shaped our world in countless ways. All thanks to the collective genius of scientists and engineers over more than a century. It just goes to show that sometimes the biggest breakthroughs aren't found by one person, but built by many. Thanks for watching. If you found this interesting, hit that like button and subscribe for more stories behind the tech we use every day. See you next time.